Okay, so my name is James William Shinya. This is Comfort Havoc number two. This is the only video I'm going to shoot tonight because I'm a little bit mad and I don't really want to um, go into too much detail. So um, this is going to be the only video. I also would love to get a chance to actually get back on my Mass Effect. So I'm going to do that. Not that I'd rather play Mass Effect than talk to you guys, but again, uh, this is a little bit more serious. So I'm going to get to this and then I'm going to end this and this probably won't be more than five minutes. Um... Parents, if you have children, you should probably be watching this. Um, this is a very important thing because this happened today here in Charlottesville. and There was local news coverage, but I don't know if it's going to hit CNN or anything like that. So today, apparently, some douchebag full of dick tips decided that um, they were going to threaten our school, our children's schools in the city. And um, they want to shoot children like um the guy did in Vegas at least that's what the internet says so all of the city schools were on lockdown for tonight well today wherever you are for Wednesday all the schools in the city was on lockdown point blank period now I hope you all if you have children are explaining to them tonight that the danger that they were in is something that we need to take serious and the fact today that they did take it serious so I'm very proud of the Charlottesville PD every branch and that they got everything up to speed on you know making sure that my nieces and nephews are safe I don't have any children of my own but if they're your nieces and nephews they're your kids they might not be yours biologically through your penis or your vagina but they're still fucking yours I will deny that I love them in court, but anyway, in making this video, they should know that I do love them. I might not act like it. I don't want nothing but the best for them. I try to raise them right, even though they're not mine. You want to have someone that's a voice of reason in a family. So, since I'm the voice of reason, let me put it to you this way. I swore in church. I mean, in church. <laughs> I swore in school today. You know, not like I swear on my life. That kind of swear. I swear as in said some bad words when I went to go pick my nephew up from Beaufort. And I honestly meant every word I said. And what I said was, whoever did this shit, if you threaten someone like me, a vet, you know, you, you're not really, I'm not going to be missed. You know, in, in, when I was in infantry, I was trained by people in Bravo and in Delta and in Gulf. My whole mission in infantry is to stay alive to keep other people alive but they also told me the downside of that is that I could die if you're gonna make a statement you don't threaten nobody's fucking kids and I'm sorry for the language if your children are watching this with you but you need to sit down and explain to them that this is not a joke and that people do not give a damn about the fact that they are children so what I said in the school was and I stand by it that there is a special place in hell for anyone who wants to kill innocent children. Now, in the army, they told me that um, our foreign enemies have been known, regardless of where we are, have been known to use children because Americans' weakness, in all honesty, is children. We would never want to shoot anyone's child. That's just a thing. But this asshole today somewhere in the back of their mind and it's on the internet I don't I just found that on the news that it was on the internet but the quickness of the police officers they, they did damn good to lock everything down and um it 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 really it really affected me to know that I got like like maybe nine nieces and nephews and that's like both genders not like separately you know combined that are in grade school and middle school. I don't know if I have any in high school. I think I have like maybe one left in high school. <laughs> I don't know. They're not my kids, so it's not really my place to, or my concern to know how old they are. But I do know that they are alive, and I'm thankful that God gave me the ability to go pick them up without so much as a hassle from the police officers. But the whole concept is I shouldn't have to. We send our kids to school so that they're supposed to be safe. Over the years, I've learned that school is not always the safest place. You know, 
I've learned it from Columbine. I've learned it from Blacksburg. I've learned it from the school shootings with the um, grade school children. So, you know, you have to take these things serious because, you know, there are some sick freaks out here that won't think twice of shooting our children. So as I close this video out, because I am highly upset, we need to teach our children that even though there is no safe place, that we do love them and that we would do everything we can to protect them, which is why they should not be afraid of the cops. And most adults who have morals will do what they can to save the children. I think I probably didn't word this video right, but if you understand where I'm coming from, I wasn't the one panicking. My siblings that have the children were the ones panicking. And I feel their pain because, you know, you would think that no one would be this damn stupid with all the events that have gone in Charlottesville since fucking August. And when does it end? We're grown-ups, man. Be grown. Stop doing dumb shit. Don't threaten people's children over the internet while they're peacefully going to school. So again, I'll make this statement one more time. To whoever you are that did that, it's a special fucking place in hell for you. And I hope I'm there to peel every piece of hair off your body one by one. I'm pretty sure the devil has his limits on the evil that he does. But you have to understand that humans are the real monsters. Not the creepy little creature that lives under the bed. Not the witch rider. Not the moon. Not the aberrations that scare the shit out of you because they're trying to communicate through the veil. But the real monsters are us humans. Because some of us don't have morals. Some of us don't have a conscience. Let me just be blunt. Some of us just don't give a shit. And we have to stop that. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Come From Heaven number two. And if I pissed you off, then I woke your ass up. We have to teach our children that they are loved. Safety is a lie. But we will protect them. But we will die trying. This is Come From Heaven number two. I'm James Williams Jr. Be seeing you.